season with 2K Sports as we get ready for the special NBA presentation. This is Brian Anderson with Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill and giving us the rundown from the sidelines, reporter Ali LaForce. Ali, take it away. Well, Nikola Vucevic last season signed that new four-year, $100 million contract to stay in Orlando. He said, quote, the way Coach Clifford's been using me has been perfect, allowing me to play inside out and use my skill set, the team playing through me. It's helped me grow as a player. Guys, high praise for Coach Clifford. Well, he deserves it. He's one of the best, and he's got the track record now. Good stuff, Allie. And now in December, here's what the Eastern Conference standings look like. Taking a look at Philadelphia, they love where they stand right now. First place. And, of course, Orlando, they're a ways down in the standings. And right now for the Magic, they're really doing their best to rise through the rankings. Time will tell whether they can pull it off. You know, it's really hard to figure out exactly what's been missing, but there is something missing that perhaps could be the system they're playing in. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. Harris and Embiid make up the front court. Matisse Thibel out there with Ben Simmons. And it's Green in at the three. And for the Magic, Gordon plays four. Vucevic at center. Fultz runs the point with Fournier at the two. And it's Ross in at the small forward position. Well, tonight, Grant, a rare marquee matchup at center. This ought to be a treat. Center? What exactly is that? <laughs> no, in all, in all seriousness, this will be a treat. And it's amazing how the center position has really, truly evolved now. It's not just playing with your back to the basket. You have to be able to play out of the high post. You have to be able to pass, be a facilitator, defend screen and roll, be agile, mobile. But tonight, this matchup, wow, this is a throwback. I can't wait to see these two get after it. Let's go old school tonight. Now here's Simmons. A go-to option for this team. He puts up nearly 17 a game. And that one's good. Green. You got to recognize, Simmons is a pass-first guy, which is why you can't leave somebody open around. Outside Ross. Back to Vucevic. Shot clock at six. Here's Fultz. No good. A bit long that time. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Outside Simmons. Pass to Harris. Over Gordon. Harris misses. That's a shot he'd like back. He's usually going to make those. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Gordon, the pass to Vucevic. Outside Fultz. Into the lane. He's now one for two with that bucket. Boy, for a young guy, Fultz is really a smart player. Takes on the pick and roll with confidence and poise. Outstanding work. Now here's Simmons. We saw him with 19 his last time out. Harris passes to Simmons. Hook shot on the way. Good on the bucket. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Here's Fultz. He's been contributing over 15 a game. Simmons grabs the board. It does not get much easier than that, but somehow he came up empty there. You know, it's amazing what a change of scenery can do for a player, what a difference it can make. Markel Fultz getting a chance last season to restart his career a bit, and he made the most of it and had a very productive season. Played here in the first. It's Simmons with a drive, and there it is for him. Simmons has got his second bucket of the night. And with Fultz, if you ignore his draft position, you like what you see, Clark. Well, I couldn't say it any better, B.A. You know, sometimes the number next to your name in the draft can be a blessing or a curse, and in Markel's case, it certainly has been a heavy weight. But you take a look at what he does objectively, 
last season, he was dynamic and looked great. And Philadelphia has possession. The Magic making their last shot. Outside Simmons. Clock at six. Harris against Gordon. He's somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. Orlando trailing here. Outside Fultz. Right wing. Vucevic, the pass to Fultz. Driving to the basket. Over Simmons. Fultz can't get it to go. Not much falling for him this quarter, guys, and you can sense his frustration. Yep, count it. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possession. Here's Fultz. Following the score by Philadelphia. Vucevic finds Gordon. Outside Ross. Embiid against Vucevic. Here's Ross. Off target from three-point range. For Philadelphia, they've gone five of six. They're rolling. Outside Simmons. Embiid inside. Working on Vucevic. That's good. From Embiid on the assist by Harris. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Outside Fultz. Pass to Vucevic. And stolen by Simmons. And here's the fast break. For three, here's Harris. And it's Orlando with the rebound. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of the 76ers this year. And they'll meet three times overall. A little bit of a tone setter here tonight. First time you face a team in the season, that's when you're looking to take that mental advantage. Demonstrate your better. That could make it easier down the road. Well, you take a look at Aaron Gordon's game and you analyze it. He's got elite athleticism, no doubt. Off the charts athleticism. And yet he's still a work in progress in terms of some of the skills of the game. You know, some people, and I think this is unfair, were anticipating him being a superstar. And that very well might happen. But there's no shame in being a really good all-around NBA player for a long time. And he seems to be trending towards that type of outcome versus superstar. Clark with Gordon, he can start to settle for outside looks. You know, I think he's really good inside B.A., and um, he does have a decent jump shot, and with a young player, it's a matter of understanding what your strengths are and still working on your weaknesses. So he's better inside, but he can improve that perimeter shot. I think one of the things that would help him is if he was the third or fourth option as far as a scoring threat as opposed to being a guy who's expected to be the number one or two scoring outs. Now here's Simmons. To the middle. Embiid drawing the double team. Back to Thibel. Simmons finds Embiid. The kick out to Simmons. Just three to shoot. Oh, the teardrop falls in. Simmons has got six. That's three buckets in a row off assist. Now Fultz coming in off 12 points in his last outing. Inside. Here's Vucevic. And it's going to be a three-second call. And a quick look here at some of the numbers for Terrence Ross. And over the last five games, his field goal percentage has increased. And you can make a case his confidence as well because of this. The 76ers have gone 7 of 9, a solid percentage so far. Simmons, the pass to Green. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. The Magic have gone only 2 of 7 so far. A cold start. Outside Fournier. Pass to Gordon. Now Vucevic. Outside Fournier. Here's Simmons. He's got six. On the take. And slams up by Simmons. Boy, I like their energy 
coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Now here's Vucevic. Really played well against Indiana in his last game. Back to Ross. Jacks up a three. Rebound by the 76ers. Embiid's got four rebounds now. Pass to Green. Back to Simmons. Over to the wing. Here's Embiid. It's good. And a beautiful setup from Simmons that time. Simmons has got his third assist of the night. We've seen some hot starts and some ugly starts early in the season. Grant, you know I love watching that scoreboard now. So how long should teams wait before they start worrying about their record? VA, I've been on teams with both hot and ugly starts, so I know a thing or two about this. But I think there's a rule of thumb about 20 to 25 games is enough of a sample size to get a real sort of indication of what this particular team is. You know, obviously, uh, schedule, road trips, a lot of things to factor in. But usually, about well, 25 games, to maybe even 30 games, then you can start to get to a point where you can maybe worry about the team and if changes are needed. And the shot goes down. And the 76ers lead by 15. I tell you what, it reminds me of one of my college coaches. He used to say, that ain't going to get it done. That's five straight baskets in the paint now. Now here's Isaac. Eight points in his last time out. Nails it from three. Fultz has got five points. Man, I like the quick catch and release from Fultz. A confident shooter who's ready to fire as soon as he catches it. Pass to Howard. And here's Embiid, covered by Bamba. 14 feet away. Embiid can't hit. Orlando has gone one for three from outside so far in this game. Bamba with it. Embiid covers. On the wing, Isaac. Back to Fournier. You know, using his size advantage there to rip down that board in traffic. Simmons with it. Give him eight. Howard finds Curry. Pass to Embiid. Over Bamba. Oh, and there's Joel Embiid making a fantastic play. Embiid's got his third basket on the night right there. Fournier against Curry. He is zero for his last however many this quarter, guys. Might need to get him out and let him settle down a bit here. Oh, stolen by Fultz. Oh, and a fast break for the Magic. Banked it in off the glass. He has seven. Man, I appreciate how skilled Fultz is handling the ball. I mean, excellent at getting to his favorite spots on the floor. Outside Milton. 
for three. He can't hit that time. So Orlando will take it the other way. 146 left in the opening quarter. Outside Fournier. Over Simmons. The shot by Fournier, no good. Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. Now, here is Howard. In his last outing, eight points for him. You can't help but look toward their defense. <laughs> They're totally lost. Well, everything's coming too easily. I mean, at some point defensively, you have to take something away. Here's Volts. They trail by 14. Pass to Bamba. And the call will be against Mo Bamba. That's his first foul. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. No question about it. No flop there. That was a direct shot to the chest. Here's Maxi. 56 seconds left to play in the first. The floater. Here's Embiid. Orlando grabs the miss. <laughs> the way they've gotten after rebounds has been impressive. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. Now here's Fournier. His last outing, we saw him score 22. Outside Curry. Pass to Maxi. Here's Howard. Over Isaac. What a wingspan Isaac had. I mean, this guy is incredible. Nine shot. And he loves to do it. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And a chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago. <laughs> and that's exactly what a team needs when they're trailing. Energy on the defensive side of the ball. Isaac for three. Can't hit that one. And as the first quarter wraps up, already a double-digit lead. Sixers ahead, leading by 14. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. criticism from people I don't really need to hear from you know I don't mind everyone has their opinion everyone's gonna say something um, which is fine but at the same time I gotta worry about you know what I need to focus on and with social media now blocking out the noise has become harder than ever <laughs> the truth is people like to criticize others BA we should really be celebrating what Simmons has accomplished at a very young age great to have you with us Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. Oh, the 76ers at the top of their game, huh? It's simple. The main takeaway from the first quarter is they're winning this game with defense. Yeah, I agree. I mean, look at the energy, the effort defensively. They put it all out there in that opening quarter. Jonathan Isaac is out there with Al Farouk Aminu. Then there's Nikola Vucevic. Then there's Markel Fultz, and it's Ross in at the two. That's who's out there for Orlando. Elbow shot on the way. Nice shot by Ross. Ross has got his first points in this one. Feasting on the leftovers, eating big time. Ross stepping inside the arc and making it happen. Grant, so much has been made about the jump shot of Markel Fultz. Many called it broken. Last year, it looked plenty functional to me. You know, it really did be a Fultz was willing to take more mid-range jumpers. And of course, he hit those shots at a pretty good rate. As he gets more and more comfortable each year, he'll continue to elevate his play. 
You know, one thing you got to love about Embiid is how unselfish he is. I mean, he's pretty good at spotting open teammates. Isaac outside from downtown. And out of bounds, the 76ers will take it. Let's have a look at the early favorites to compete in this year's three-point contest. Many of the top shooters in the league. Most of these guys are going to collect a ton of votes. And if this is who makes the final cut, then it's going to be a year to remember. You look at Fournier, he's right on the cusp of securing his spot in the three-point contest. So I hope those votes keep pouring in because he's a guy you'd love to see in the mix. Yeah, if he can make it in the door, you know he will do everything he can to win the whole thing. And it'll be a lot of fun to watch. And this year's contest is really shaping up to be one to remember. Plenty of dead-eye shooters on that list so far. And lots of guys have a three-point shot now. But this list is really the cream of the crop when it comes to putting up long-range bombs. Now here's Ross. 23 points his last outing. Pass to Gordon. And Green comes to help. Back to Ross from the arc. Here's Gordon. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. And here's a look at what's coming up for the Orlando Magic. On Tuesday, they'll be matching up against DeMar DeRozan and the San Antonio Spurs. And then on Thursday, they'll be facing Bradley Beal and the Washington Wizards. Checking out their schedule, they've got a tough run of games coming up. But quality opponents are a great chance for you to see how well your team can truly perform. He's off on the first. Well, Grant, you were one of those uber-versatile players back in your day. And now, versatility is a key, especially on the defensive end. I love what you said there, B.A. Yes, we think of versatility, we always think offense. But defensively, it's just as important. And in this style of play that we're in in today's game, you need guys who can guard multiple positions. They can guard and bang with big guys. They can guard on the perimeter against smaller guards. Uh, guys who have that kind of defensive versatility are a huge asset to a good ball player. Now, here's Green. 16-point lead, the largest margin in the game. Now, here's Fultz. Seven points in the game. It's Ross on the wing. Puts up a three. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got 11 rebounds in the game. Here's Maxi. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Pass to Embiid. Here's Maxi. Five to shoot. Orlando has gone 0 for 4 from beyond the arc here in the second quarter. Fultz passes to Vucevic. Ross with it. Launches it. Drills it from deep. Ross has got five. Man, I like the three-point stroke of Ross. Gets it off so effortlessly. Man, he's got terrific form. Embiid finds Harris. Hits the front of the rim and out. Orlando has gone only one of five from beyond the three-point line in the second quarter. Gordon outside. Pass to Vucevic. And the former Trojan, Nikola Vucevic, puts up a ton of numbers, but he's more than just a stats guy. He's locked in as a pillar for this Magic team. Nikola Vucevic. That free throw, no good. You know, he was the 16th pick in the 2011 NBA draft, and Vucevic became an all-star for the first time in 2019. Took him a while, but he got there. Simmons has checked in for the Sixers. So he can't get either to fall. And give them credit for making a more concerted effort to get to the line this quarter. Yeah, I like everything you said there, because when all else fails, if you can get to the strike, that's really a good way to change the momentum in the game, because you get points, and you also slow down the opponent because the game isn't going up and down as much. It's good. 
And Vucevic is emerging as a longtime leader for Orlando, I think. Yeah, B.A., he's established himself as one through his play and vocal nature out on the court. Vucevic will be the first to criticize himself. I mean, he's really changed his game to help them become a more competitive team. And it's the magic with the ball. Following the score by Philadelphia. To three, Gordon. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Embiid's got a rebound number 12 here already in the game. Green for three. And Fultz pulls it down. The Magic have got two of seven attempts to drop since the end of the first quarter. Oh, Simmons with the block. Yeah, with great recognition, awareness, and body control, Simmons can get up for blocks. Here's Milton. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It goes on Terrence Ross. And even from where we're sitting, you can clearly tell it was a foul. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls, and the 76ers making a change here. Dibbles checked in. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Well, Grant, you stayed all four years in college. That's a rarity now. What were some of the pros and cons of that choice? You know, that was a great decision for me all four years in college playing in Duke. But nowadays, you're almost penalized at times for staying in school for so long. Our players today want to get into the league, get some of the best training from coaches, instruction. Uh, for me, it was great, but the landscape has changed. The modern game is younger. Players uh, are more developed, more skilled. It is sort of the environment that we're in here now in the NBA. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Brian, with the pandemic, player workouts going into the draft were restricted. Instead, a lot of video chat interviews and even IQ tests. Players completing timed exercises, testing their memory and skills. Whether or not you believe the game is 90% mental, it's obviously an important to learn. Truly is. Thanks, Allie. Good stuff. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Now here's Harris. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Yeah, you know, you can't get overly physical with Harris because once you do, he turns it against you and uses it for his good. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. You know, over time, I think Harris has become really good at accepting more responsibility, and that's part of learning how to be a leader. Bamba's checked in for Orlando. Fournier comes in for Ross. Howard's checked in for the Sixers. drops them both. Yeah, they're playing a much more physical game here in the second quarter. Boy, it certainly appears to be the case. I mean, they've spent a lot of time at the foul line this quarter, and that's the result of attacking the rim and being physical. Here's Birch. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. So we'll see Markel Fultz go to the line here. It's going to go on Ben Simmons. And that one misses. For Philadelphia, they've gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. Pass to Simmons. 
Outside Milton. Dybul on the wing. Fournier covering, and he drives in. Dybul, that's good. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. And, you know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Now here's Fournier. Continues to make an impact on offense, putting up 21 a game. because of their efforts on the glass. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Now here's Thibel. He's got five. With the drive, Milton. Here's Howard. Howard. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they will count the bucket. Such a great rebounder. Athleticism and length. Dwight Howard knows how to use those gifts that he possesses. So it's Orlando now. Outside Fultz. Pass to Bamba. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. When you look at Bamba, he has extraordinary length. And because of that, he's able to finish over most defenders. On the wing, Milton. And the ball out of play. The Magic will have it. Isaac, he's checked in for Orlando. Curry, he's checked in for the Sixers. A challenging stretch for Orlando here. And here's Fultz. Nine points in the game. Second shot opportunity. Hey, it's blocked by Simmons. And another miss by Orlando. The 76ers have gotten six of their 12 attempts to go since the end of the first. Left side Curry. Pass to Simmons. Back to Curry. Three-pointer. Offensive board. Here's Howard. No stopping him there. Jams it in. And he's fouled. An opportunity in a three-point play. It's going to be on Mo Bamba. Well, Grant, when you joined Orlando, there was a very real possibility of forming a super team. Do you ever wonder what might have been? Up? Oh, B.A., I wonder all the time. You had a great young player in Tracy McGrady emerging into a star. And if I could have just stayed healthy at a time in the Eastern Conference when it was really wide open, I think all the time what could have been, but unfortunately it never happened because of that persistent pain. Now here's Fultz. Here's Birch. The jump hook. No good off the back of the rim. Simmons. Outside Simmons. Howard finds Harris. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Bamba. Fournier with the ball. And Howard picks him up defensively. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Dwight Howard picks one up. I like to see Fournier drawing contact on his shots. I mean, he's a crafty player who gives defenses a lot of problems. That one misses. And Fournier is highly skilled, a crafty European talent who's really fearless when it comes to shooting the basketball. And the second free throw is good. And Philadelphia has possession. Simmons, pass 
to Howard. Isaac against Harris. Well, the Magic shooting just 24% on this one. Not great. Pass to Bamba. Now here's Isaac. The three is up. Knocks down the long K. Isaac's got his first three points of the game. Man, I like the deep ball of Isaac there, man. Has good touch for a big fella. And he shoots it with confidence. Simmons, the pass to Harris. Count it. He's four for eight now. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Now here's Fultz. He's got nine. On the wing, Fournier. Pick coming, pick coming. There's a minute 54 left to play in the first half. It's just been a brutal outing for him. He still hasn't managed to make a shot, and the team is struggling because of it. Here's Howard. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Howard's got six in the quarter. So hard to corral Howard. I mean, even when you try to rough him up and get physical with him, he still just is able to play through it. Now here's Fournier. Bamba in the high post. Over Howard. Bamba misses. Well, that's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. Pass to Harris. Howard, the screen, the kick out, Curry. Three-pointer off the mark. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Here's Birch. Back to Fultz. Now here's Bamba, six on the shot clock. Here's Fournier. And that misses everything. It's clear he's totally out of sync. The team needs to rethink its strategy around what to do with him. Here's Simmons. The shot misses. Some solid defense from Bamba. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Now Fultz. Outside Fournier. Pass to Birch. A shot to stop the drill. And Fournier with the lay-in. And I like the size that Fournier has as a shooting guard. Actually, great size. I mean, he's more than ready to take advantage of that when the opportunity presents itself. The three, here's Harris. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And so a pretty lopsided game through the first half. Sixers ahead, just dominating this one. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Joel, you hold the lead now, but how do you build on that as the game continues? Uh, just to keep being, uh, being aggressive. Uh, I thought we did a good job defensively, so we just got to keep being aggressive and make it play. A lot of times, defense leads to offense. Thanks, Joel. Thanks, Allie. Fantastic interview. We'll be back soon to start the second half of basketball. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. So far, a pretty uh, lopsided game, but still one half to play. I'm Ernie Johnson, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. And with all the stars on the 76ers, you forgot the root of this team is their defense. Kenny, why are the Sixers so strong on D? Well, they cover the pick and roll. I mean, very well. The Sixers use that drop coverage, and they, they force you to take that mid-range shot. They're really good defense. And they have great size at all positions. They challenge you on defense and have great rim protection. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Philadelphia dictating the flow, and the 76ers looking at who they've got. 
Harris and Embiid make up the front court. Ben Simmons is out there with Matisse Thibel. And it's Green in at the three, the small forward. Well, the Magic shooting a low 26% from the field. It's Vucevic, high post. Back to Fultz. Picked by Vucevic. Six to shoot. Fultz is good. Fultz has got 11 points. Like that explosion to the basket. Fultz can turn it on so quickly. He's past you before you know it. Quick as a hiccup. Pass to Harris. Embiid with it. Oh, got a piece of it. Oh, stolen by Fultz. And here's Gordon. Fires from deep. And again, it's the magic from deep. Oh, I like the confidence here. Gordon is excellent at realizing when he has room to shoot even before he has the ball. That's what we call seeing a play ahead. Now, here's Green. Up top, Embiid. Harris left side. This one for three. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Vucevic has got four rebounds now. Well, I tell you what, Vucevic is a guy who really can be stat sheet productive. I mean, this guy has posted multiple 20-plus rebound nights. And he's always been a guy who makes a pretty big impact on the box score. Shot clock at two. And the foul on Ben Simmons. That's foul number two for him. Vucevic against Embiid. Vucevic gets the bucket. Vucevic has got his second basket of the game. And with Vucevic, the numbers he puts up compare with any other center in the league, Clark. Well, you know, B.A., anytime you can post 20 and 10 as an average, well, that puts you in a rare company. I mean, not many guys do that on an annual basis in the history of the league. So clearly he's special in that regard. I think his passing has improved the last few seasons as well. So he's a total package on the offensive end. Excellent D there from Embiid. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Outside, Green. Now here's Embiid, guarded by Ross. Here's Thibault. The Sixers with another miss. The Magic have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. Fultz passes to Vucevic. Now Gordon. the foul. It'll go on Aaron Gordon. That's his first foul. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet and he takes the hit. And not afraid to put his body on the line either. He took a shot for the team in that situation. The 76ers have gone 0 for 4. Not the way they want to start the second half. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. To stop the drought. The Sixers again can't hit. Fultz with it. 11 points in the game. Up top, Gordon. Pounded by Harris. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. You know, this is the problem Gordon poses for defenses, guys. I mean... Very dangerous and athletic on these drives. Shooting two. That one's off. Aaron Gordon has a special combination of athleticism and size, and I think his skill set is perfectly tailored for how the game is played today. Good on the second one. Here's Maxi. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. And the 76ers call time here. 
things just aren't going their way, he clearly wants to talk it over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. Three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Outside, Green. Oh, they need this! Orlando grabs the miss. Now here's Fultz. He's got 11. Pass to Vucevic. And out of bounds, the 76ers will take it. Aminu's checked in for Fultz. have gotten zero shots to go out of six attempts. The ball's knocked loose. Ooh, stolen by 48. And the dunk to finish it off. A oh, beauty. Fournier, very skilled at sniffing out and anticipating when to go for the steal. Here's Maxi. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. against Gordon. To the inside. Vucevic. And it's blocked by Embiid. Yeah, good energy and awareness that time by Embiid to deny that shot. And here is Fournier. He's got five. Pass to Aminu. It's Ross on the wing. Now here's Vucevic. Pounded by Harris. They're doing the job on both ends, getting stops and attacking offensively. And, you know, it's taken a big run, but they were able to get back into this one. Very impressive. No quit in these guys. Here's Maxi. Embiid finds Green. Harris outside. Here's Embiid. And the shot is good. Harris making the play. Embiid's got 10. Boy, he's been a rock of offensive support so far. And when they've needed a basket, they've turned to him. It's Ross on the wing. Back to Gordon. Pass to Aminu. Six on the shot clock. The Magic need to put one up here. Fournier for three. And again, it's Orlando with a three. Boy, Fournier is an excellent shooter from distance, and that really helps his team face the floor. Here's Maxi. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Harris outside. There's the drive. You know, it hasn't been his best outing, but they still find themselves in the driver's seat here. Here's Gordon, and it's blocked by Embiid. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Magic will retain possession. 
And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. <laughs> yeah, I mean, those are the plays that get you a lead and keep you a lead as well. And the Magic making a change here. Isaac's checked in. The 76ers also with a sub. Howard's checked in. Pass to Gordon. Up top, Vucevic. Embiid covers. Clock at six. Here's Ross. Another miss by Orlando. The Sixers leading. Here's Maxi. Philadelphia will take it the other way. Oh! There's the alley! Stole it away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt. Pass to Vucevic. Knocked away. Here's Maxi. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Fader on the way. Embiid can't hit. And the Magic with possession. Outpacing him right now, a 15-2 run. Isaac finds Fournier. Going inside. Pass to Gordon. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. So both teams changing it up here. This offense has been dynamic and diversified. Just everyone sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you difficult to defend. Now here's Curry. He's averaging about six points per game. Here's Embiid. Outside Milton. The three ball. Second chance shot. And the finish by Embiid as he lays it in. Embiid's got 12 points in the game. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they can keep out of the ball tremendously well. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Stolen by Ross. Fournier with the ball. Now guarded by Curry. Outside Fournier. That's tipped. Here's Bamba, and it's Bamba finishing strong. Boy, Bamba, really a dogged rebounder despite his slight frame. He's got great length and timing, and his intensity is really impressive. Now, here's Howard. He has six. Pass to Curry. It's hauled in by the Magic. Ross with it. He's got five. Fournier with the ball. Outside Ross. Takes a three. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Howard's got 14. Yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Nice job that time using that strong body of his inside. Once Howard has positioning, I think you got to wrap him up. That free throw, no good. And when you think of Howard, defense and rebounding immediately comes to mind. I mean, he knows his role and plays it pretty well. Fultz, he's checked in for Orlando. That 
one's no good. The Magic have gone 8 of 15 in the third quarter. Here's Birch. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Outside Ross. Fires the three. Howard grabs the miss. Howard's got rebound number 15 here tonight. Yeah, that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game largely because he's shot so poorly. Now here's Simmons. Give him eight. Court pass, no good. There's a minute 47 left in the third quarter. Out to the right wing. Pass to Isaac. Here's Birch. Shot clock at six. Here's Ross. No good on the triple. You know, after connecting on one three-pointer in the first half, he hasn't netted another one since. Bamba, that's good. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Now, here's Howard. Six points for him. Here's Korkbox. The shot by Howard, no good. There's 57 seconds left in the third quarter here. Pass to Fultz. Let's the three fly. Korkbox pulls it in. And the 76 are shooting only 40% from the floor in this game. Now Embiid. Here's Howard. And rejected. Well, great timing and awareness there from Bamba. He sends shots away on the daily. Harris is checked in for Howard. Here's Simmons. He got the whistle on the way up, so he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And what patience from Simmons on offense. I mean, really skilled at making the defense get a little shaky when he has the ball. Simmons. You know, after missing his first year out of college due to injury, um, Ben Simmons ended up winning Rookie of the Year in 2018, proving the wait was worth it. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Pass to Fultz. On the clock. Fires at the elbow. Misses off the left iron. And we've watched three so far in this one. The Sixers on top. They're up by five. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter when we return. at center and it's Isaac in at the small forward that's who's out there for Orlando Fultz can't get it to go here's Korkmaz here's Harris and his fifth make of the game in 12 attempts 
Tell you what, seems like everything he's putting up is finding the net. And right now, Harris is simply balling out. Holtz passes to Vucevic. Isaac outside. Now here's Fournier. Driving in. A rough game for him scoring the ball. He just can't seem to get it going. And here's Simmons. to Embiid. Just five to shoot. Here's Korkmaz. No good from outside. The Magic shooting just around 32% from the field. Holt passes to Vucevic. Gordon outside. Now here's Fournier. And a miss there on the triple. Early on, he tried to shoot his way out of this funk, but later in the game now, he might want to just give it up and look for his teammates to do the scoring. Now here's Harris. Outside Simmons. Left side Curry. For three, here's Harris. Fournier with a rebound. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. And we're about two minutes into the fourth here. Tries to break his ice. Down it. An excellent example of concentration there from Fournier. Did a nice job under pressure keeping his back. Green's checked in for the Sixers. Bible comes in for Curry. One shot. Moving along, two minutes gone in the fourth. Pass to Embiid. Outside, Green. Now Simmons. Shoots over Fultz. Off target with a jump hook. Fournier finds Fultz. Vucevic with it. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Simmons. He had the right idea. Just couldn't come up with the swipe. You know, fellas, one second quicker, and that's going the other way. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Back to Fournier. Six on the shot clock. This is a fantastic performance in this half. He didn't play as well in the first, but you know, you just know with this guy, he's always ready to turn it around. Pass to Harris. Outside Thibault. Fires the three. Gets the three to fall. And the 76ers lead by five. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Now here's Isaac. Fournier for three. The rebound by Simmons. Simmons has got four rebounds in the game. Certainly not the kind of night he was looking for at the offensive end, and it's had a ripple effect on the team. Pass to Embiid. Out to Harris. Three-pointer. And the 76ers, another three. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Now Vucevic. on that jump shot of his. He's going to need to knock it down consistently at his position to be one of the best in the league. Now here's Simmons. Pass to Harris. Outside Tybal. The three. Orlando grabs the miss. Gordon's got the rebound number eight here already in the game. Holtz passes to Vucevic. Gordon outside. Back to Vucevic. And stolen by Simmons. Fires from 14. Second chance effort. Tried to bank it in, but it misses. The Magic have gotten three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. Outside.
inside Fultz. Pass to Vucevic. And it's blocked by Embiid. Drives to the hoop. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Seibel's got five points in the quarter. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent pass. Outside Fultz. Out to the wing. Good chance here for Vucevic. Hits wide right. Hits off the rim. And the defense gets bailed out by the miss. He usually converts that. Outside Thibel. Harris outside. Now Fultz. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. On the wing, Fournier. Fultz with it. He takes it in. Oh, Simmons with the block. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Philadelphia's got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Here's Green. Harris on the wing. Back to Green. Clock at six. Outside Tybal. Here's Embiid. Oh, he gets it to go. 7 of 13 now. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. Seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. Now a timeout called by Orlando. He's forcing shots offensively, hurting his team in the process. He needs to trust his teammates more. in our New Balance Player of the Game, Joel Embiid. Yeah, he attacked the block all game and has been rewarded for it. The fundamentals that he displayed are why he got whatever he wanted out there on the floor. Hey, let's face it, the defense had no answer for him. I'm telling you, the added pressure of the road really brings out the best in him. You can tell he enjoyed playing so well in front of an unfriendly crowd.
position with a strong base. You gotta box out Vucevic better than that. Simmons, the pass to Harris. Outside, Green, 4-3. And the shot is good. Harris making the play. Harris has got four assists in the game. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Gordon, left side. Back to Fultz. Isaac outside. From behind the arc. Not going to go that time. The 76ers go the other way with it. Earlier, they held a 23-point lead. Simmons. You know, the moment everybody was waiting for with Ben Simmons happened last year. He made a few threes during games. It was a small sample size, no doubt about that, but it's what the fans wanted to see, and I'd like to continue to see him add that part to his game. No good on that one. Ross, he's checked in for Isaac. And he's good on the second. Orlando has got nothing to fall from outside the arc here in the fourth. 0 for 4. Pass to Fournier. Oh, he picked him clean. Outside title. There's the three. And the three-pointer goes. And the 76ers lead by 15. All right, Clark, for Simmons, a step in the right direction. Agreed. I mean, as fantastic as he is, and believe me, he is. Ball handling, passing, rebounding, speed, all of that is five-star level. But he's not a really good shooter, and that does lead to the floor being clogged up and unspaced because he's not that consistent of perimeter shooter. And that can have a negative effect on his team, but he's working on it. And I think he's going to make that a strength and not a weakness going forward. Vucevic's shot is off. Yeah, you know, they're losing in large part because he's, he's not playing well. It's really as simple as that. And the foul on Ben Simmons. That's his third foul of the game. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Heads up action there. Reading the play and then beating him to the spot. Well done. Now here's Fournier. Driving inside. That one's good for two. Yeah, the first half was one to deep six or forget. But in the second half, he's looked a lot better. And the 76ers with possession. They're on a 17 to six run. Pass to Embiid. Over Vucevic. Embiid misses. The Magic shooting only 29% since the fourth quarter began. Outside Fultz. Oh, stolen by Embiid. Now here's Simmons. Throws it up high. Vucevic with the steal. Fournier finds Vucevic. Outside Fultz. Shoots over Thibel. Fultz can't get it to go. They can take their time if they want. Yes, you have to regroup. Make sure you get a good shot. Right side Thibel. The three is up. Oh, they get a hand on it. But they get it back. Here's Simmons. Vucevic with the block. Get that weak stuff out of here. You can't come weak like that against Vucevic. He's going to send it back at you. To the paint. That one is off. Embiid with a nice defensive effort. Philadelphia has gone 4 of 8 from three-point land during the fourth. I got ball. Simmons, the pass to Harris. Back to Simmons. Pass to Harris. Down to five on the shot clock. Two points. That one goes. 
And this one hasn't been in doubt for a bit now. They came out on a mission, and you can bag up this win for the 76ers. All their efforts on the boards ended up paying off. And just two tough rebounding teams, but they gave the extra effort and were rewarded for it. Here's Ross. The Sixers getting their last shot to go. It's the fire he's playing with that has him leading the team in rebounds. I tell you what, guys, nobody's been more physical in this game than he has. He has been a glass eater. Now here's Embiid. Back to Simmons. Dybal on the wing. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. That's on Evan Fournier. <laughs> no debate there. He got hammered. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. Two shots. No good on the free throw. And he sinks the second. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Bamba in the high post. Outside Dybul. So no problem for Philadelphia as they get the win. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled. Now, shocked and surprised. It doesn't matter what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to just waltz in and cruise to the type of victory like we saw tonight. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Grant Hill, Clark Kellogg, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.